That's what they're playing for, the gold medal in Hong Kong. Andrew Newstub will get us underway. New Zealand all in black. The Hong Kong final is go. France early possession, Antoine Zeda, who's been first class for France this weekend, as has this man, Stefan Perez, has really lifted his game. Zaydar again, he's got Andy Tima to his left, and the big Parisian thunders into Newstep, stands in the tackle, offloads back to Zaydar. Finiang Anofo goes in for the steal for New Zealand, needs to be careful to stay on the right side. Timo at scrum half to Varian Pasquet, the on-field captain for France in the absence of Pauline River. Aaron Grandidier to Zaydar again, the man from Monaco scored in the semi-final. New stuff, look at the defensive effort from the number eight for New Zealand. There's the clear out as well, but Sefo has it, no. Penalty comes to New Zealand. What's well, very apparent from New Zealand defensively, the chop tackling, taking the legs out of the bigger French units, and then the challenge you had to break, and that's something they've obviously seen. Dylan Collier was a part of that. He got it all started. He's going to call for a scrum earlier on. This is the defense. Look at Moses Leo, stay squares. There's the chop tackle, and there's the second man in to try and assist, and that allows Andrew Newstub to come and apply pressure. New Zealand on a 14-game win streak yeah, yeah. here in Hong Kong. Chasing a seventh title Keep here on the series, but a 14th all-time. Okay, don't work up, we stay down. They've been very inventive at scrum time. Set play, New Zealand, Ty Cook Savage, the Brickley behind. Right. Look out for the man in the middle, Regan Weir. New stop to feed the scrum. Sapaya Cook Savage at first receiver. Regan Weir with the ball in hand. And now Moses Leo. Nelson Epe just clipped his heels. Here's Dylan Collier to Scott Curry to Fetty. Finney under Noffel. Big left foot step. Got past Zadar, but not Sefo. New stub. Cook Savage angled run. Trying to find support. Grand Didier, good tackle, ball and all. Couldn't get the offload away, but they reload really quickly. New Zealand. The captain Collier, the former captain Curry. Finney under Noffel. So powerful, but he can't hold on. That's gone forward, and that will be a scrum to France, good defensive set, and that's one of the reasons, KT, they've got themselves to the pinnacle of the game. As they doubt it was on this occasion, had the assignment of stopping Finney, Unger Norfolk, and he does him brilliantly, loses the ball in contact. But this guy here, young man, really has stepped up over the course of this tournament. Scott Curry down here. Might be an issue for New Zealand. Doesn't look good. For all his experience, this is his 62nd event all time. On the series plus comms games, Olympics, World Cups. Here's the incident. Oh no, just the right knee to play. It's just caught in an awkward position there. He's trying to walk it off. It does not look good. going to tough it out here we go opportunity France after that great defense you spoke about Rupert well, I was looking at the New Zealand bench but everyone still sort of sat down I thought Curry was coming to the sideline but as you say he's going to tough it out and carry on here it's a Hong Kong final Perez player of the final when they went to gold medal in Los Angeles Grand Didier to Pasquet leads the tournament for offloads can't get it away there though because Collier had him ball and all. Here's Grandidier. He called the all time try scoring record here last year. Here's Nelson Epe. Very quick but well marshaled there by New Zealand. Grandidier though has found a half break. Now Nelson Epe. Now a bit of space for France. Epe gets it off the deck to Pasquet. Sefo now. Jordan Sefo on new stuff. Right foot step. Offload. Epe. Finney Anganofo with the tackle. France here are playing with six because they've got Antoine Zadar injured in back play. Stefan Perez, Leo, puts him on the deck. Good shot tackle, that from the number 13. So still a man down here, France. They won't be able to get a replacement on until the whistle goes. Here's Sefo. 
Another big right foot step. Antoine Zeda still not involved. But oh, he's not good either. He's not good at all, Rupert. Come on. Looks like a leg complaint, and he's coming off. This is massive because he has been a huge contributor this weekend. Yeah, try score in the semi final. Big, big support here for France, as there always is in Hong Kong, and that's a, a sad sight to see for him. You're right, KT, he's been absolutely brilliant for them. You see him bottom of the middle of shot there, just like a sniper hit and went down. And those aren't the good ones, I'm telling you, Rupert. Non contact injuries, that's me telling me that that's a pull of some sort. So hopefully, moving forward after this tournament, he's okay. Still no score in the final. They've got Rayan Rabaj out there now, number 26, and he's no slouch either, I can tell you, the man from Toulon on the Côte d'Azur. Here he goes, he likes to do this, he just walks towards the defence, and then he springs into action. Grandidier, Pasquet, Collier, tackling, ball and all again. That's a, a clear intent from New Zealand here to stop the top offloading team in sevens from doing what they like to do best. Again, they go high with the tackle. Epe. Nelson Epe to Perez, but he can't hold on. Just a little mix up in midfield in New Zealand. Will feed the scrum. Scott Curry's limping as well. Yeah, still trying to muscle out that awkward leg complaint that he had earlier on. Both of these teams are just going one on one, chesting up. And neither are breaking at the moment. Yeah, sure, there was a little bit of a mistake there. But both defences are cancelling out each other's offence. What a sight that is. That's the northern end we're looking from there, towards the south stand at the far end. And Andrew Newstub will set this ground. 1.40 to go in the first half, still no score. Cook Savage. Regan Ware. Angled around. Moses Leo gets through Nelson Epe, then the handoff, but here comes Grandidier on Leo. Inside ball, Pasquet is there, flicks it inside. Audacious from Pasquet. And New Zealand have dived on it, but it's gone forward off a New Zealand hand. Brazen from France, right on their own try line. But this is what keeps you and wins you tournament. Epe gets beaten, Leo uses the left-hand fin, but it's the chase right there. What a stop, and they did it in numbers. Oh, that is brilliant work from France. See Buddy and Pascal, they're telling the referee, we didn't touch it, sir. They get the scrum feed. Grand Didier, brilliant defence. I mentioned he equaled the all-time try-scoring record here. The great Villamoni de la Salle and South Africa's Brent Russell, 11 tries at a single tournament, did that here last year. And that was all about effort and defence. Here comes Andy Timo now. Hit by Curry with Collie around the bottom. Pasquet. Yeah, he tried to offload in contact. It's gone forward and just where you don't want to make the mistake right in front of your own sticks 10 meters out i'll be honest though rupert it's a tough place to exit when you're on that left there's that's a nice shot down low again from regan where i think it was and to make that mistake with 18 seconds left before the half oh that's a huge mistake well you mentioned regan where with the hit there came into this final as the leading tackler here in hong kong this year out of all players, often known for his attacking game, but gee, he has emptied the tank for New Zealand here. Sit. Over the course of these three days. This is game six, remember, for these teams. Huge physical toll. Here come New Zealand around the corner, and now Regan Ware can't hold on to it. But has it gone backwards? Yes, it has, said the referee. Andrew New Stub, no. Knock on. Knock on is the call. Now he got the call from system referee. I think it's a correct one, too. And we'll go to half time. Scoreless. The 2024 Hong Kong final, France, New Zealand. The Los Angeles champions, France. Can they knock over the defending Hong Kong champs, New Zealand? It's 
hotly contested in the air, but an early tackle is the call. New Zealand get the penalty. Oh, Scott Curry is not right whatsoever. It'll be interesting to see how long he stays on the field. I'm sure France would have used that tactic to try and target him from their restart, but he's a tough character, Scott Curry. Well, they want his experience, don't they? 35 years of age, he's been everywhere in rugby sevens. What a warrior. But you've got to say, he's not 100. That is obvious. Yeah, well, the thing is, you've got Shea Clark, very young, or Tony Nashu coming back. He's been the closer coming in with three or four minutes to go. But Scott Curry, they need him for line out in particular, Rupert. Yeah, perhaps that's the feeling of Tomasi Thama. Get him deep into this second half and then time for fresh legs. Collier will try and lift him here in the middle. And they go to the front to Finney Anganopo, actually. Here's Tapia Cook Savage. Crowd roars at Hong Kong Stadium. Regan Ware bursting through tackles. Collier quickly to New Stub. Here is Curry. Dummies and goes. Pasquet, the France captain, trying to rip the ball away. Now Timo looking for the turnover. <laughs> then they clear out, but the penalty comes to New Zealand. Oh, the first part was good, though, from Timo. It was just the second effort. He gets pinged for. New Zealand went to the line-out last time. Looks like they're setting up for a tap move here. That's two in a row against France. You surrender a lot of field position when you give up penalties. Huge noise inside Hong Kong Stadium. Here come the All Black Sevens. Fini Anganofa, Moses Leo steps inside Epe, but Grand Didier again for France puts him down. Another penalty to New Zealand. Not rolling away France. Here's Collier. Now where? If they shift it, they might be in business. New stub. Scott Curry in the corner. The walking wounded Scott Curry has dived in the corner. They will check this. But Curry looked pretty short. Try awarded. What an effort from this man. Clearly hurts, clearly struggling, dives in the corner. Or well, was it a clear try? There's going to be a great angle of it. Scott Curry goes for the corner, absorbs the head. Oh, yeah. Well done, the assistant group. In front of the south stand, you're right. The soldier that is Scott Curry won't score a more important try in his career. And his teammates appreciate exactly that. And that's why he's still out there. Conversion attempt from way out wide won't get there. So New Zealand score first in the Hong Kong final. And it's taken them deep into the second half to do it. They've had some tight, tight games, New Zealand, here this weekend. One score games almost throughout the three days. And they're in enough another tough contest here what a france got can they respond they get the ball away but it's over the shoulder of perez and a little scrum half flicks it indoors and new zealand have it brady rush cody by scores for new zealand he does what he did in the cup final last year 10 nil now kick to come cody by and you don't see this from Perez. He's been so good this weekend. That's a 50-50 ball at best. Russ gets onto it and Cody Vai just continues to turn up when New Zealand need him most. The young man, early into his seventh career, with the finish. New Zealand take advantage. A little bit of a lack of composure from France and that kid codes out a move by two tries in Hong Kong finals. Conversion comes off the upright, remains 10 points to nil. France desperately needs some position, desperately need this ball. Cook Savage goes. High and wide, and it's been brilliantly taken in the air by Dylan Collier, the captain, no, who was player of the final here last year. 
Here's Brady Rush. His dad, Eric, is in the stands watching on. And here's Vi again. Great feet. Pasquet puts him on the floor. Ball's gone forward, though. There's the break France needed. They needed something you felt. Momentum was all against them. Yeah, and it comes from their defense. It's been so intense. And you're right, Rupert. They needed to try and find some way. And their skipper, who is injured, Rivers coming on. One of the greatest ever to do it. Dan Carter is in attendance. He didn't play much sevens, but he was pretty good. He was decent. I think he probably would have been pretty good go. at sevens as well, to be fair. Boys, here's the mark, here's the mark. Okay. So Reva, who was Stay down. listed on the team sheet in the semi-finals, unavailable. Here he is off the bench, Five. the captain. We understand he had a back spasm, but he's out there for his team, feeds the scrum. Grandidia, Jefferson Lee Joseph, True Abal. Vi with the tackle and then the clear out from New Zealand, flooding that breakdown. Riva gets it away to Jonathan Logel, most experienced French sevens player of all time. Lays it back nicely for Grandidia. Here's Jefferson Lee Joseph, half gap for him. There's the offload, Grandidia has it. Pasquet. Choke tackle coming in from Che Clark and Tony Nashu gets his knees to the floor does Rayan Rabaj and they have to let go. Just over a minute left. Two scores down France. They need to hurry here if they're going to give themselves a chance. The ball's gone forward. And New Zealand are now well in control of this cup final. And it's been the young men who have stood up, especially this weekend, Cook Savage of all. Brady Rush involved, and that's what it means, yeah, all the hard yards done on defense. It's been a real staple this weekend. Okay, so Tapai Cook Savage will feed this scrum. That's the 10 meter line of France, just over 30 seconds to go. It's in New Zealand's hands now. Brady Rush with Xavier Tito Harris off the bench coming around the corner. Counter up from France. And they've got it. Joseph, Rebaj, Riva. Riva dummies and is through. Now Buddy and Pasquet. And Pasquet from Stade Francais will score for France. And they don't have to take the conversion here. They can go back and restart if they choose to. I think with time up, they don't have that option. They try to go and ask. Well, I thought there was a second on the clock when he put it down, but I think that's what Jefferson Lee Joseph is asking AJ Jacobs. Well, unless you're the skipper or the try scorer, those are the only people that can at the time say we don't want a conversion. Here's the break from Reva. Brilliant work and attack, and this guy deserves it for sure. He has worked hard. Well, Vanny and Pasquet have scored the try, but New Zealand are Hong Kong Sevens champions for the second year running. The Black Ferns and the All Black Sevens champions here in Hong Kong.